Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial on Exxon Studios and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make some connected dots floating around um, and making this kind of dotty network like this or this or this so I'm going to show you two options to do this at first I'm going to show you how to do it manually and second I'm going to show you how to do it with the script called connect layers so first of all let's create a composition pressing ctrl n and yeah background color white perfect then I'm just going to shorten the composition a little so we only have two seconds of comp uh, what, you, what you're going to do now to make these dots we want to connect uh, these lines to you can create any shape you want you can either create shapes using the shape tool uh, I mean the <coughs> pen tool or using the shape tool I'm usually going for circles because it looks the best in my opinion um, yeah I'll just go for about four circles it actually doesn't really matter because we can duplicate them later on and randomize them uh, but be sure to make this in separate shape layers because if you don't do it it gets kind of messed up <laughs> um, so it's important that you position the anchor point to the middle either using motion to script or reposition anchor point script or just do it manually by using this tool pressing Y and going around and pressing control so it fits to the middle perfect now in order to make these flounder around uh, randomly press P selecting all shape layers and press P and then just click uh, alt option key plus this little stopwatch and in this field which is an expression text field just type in wiggle you can google it if you want to but you don't have to you can either just type in what I'm doing or if you want to understand it you can google it for a short time and uh, yeah I'm actually going to explain you how what this does right now too so yeah you have to type in two values now okay so value and value and what these values do the first value defines how many times the second value should happen per second I'm going for one second usually because it looks best and in the second one I'm just going for let's say 1100 pixels per second what this does it randomly creates position keyframes uh, for every second for about 1100 pixels per second uh, yeah in order to copy and paste these on the others just uh, click on this text field again control C and option key stopwatch paste option key stopwatch paste option key stopwatch paste perfect and now we go get into the tricky part because we are going to connect these dots with lines now so in order to do that just type uh, just press ctrl y and make it doesn't really matter what color this comp uh, this solid is but yeah i'm going for black now you're going to affect generate beam or just type in beam the effects and presets and click on it or drag it onto the layer it doesn't matter and I'm going for black color because these colors look really shitty Let's turn on the softness because we don't want the gay lightsaber uh, be sure that the length is 100% because if it's not it has like a trim path function and the time should be a 50% because otherwise it would have this trim path ups offset effect um, yeah going to 100% now you see why I chose the beam effect because we have a starting point and ending point we can define them I'm going to define them by these positions of these shapes just pressing option on both of the start and ending point 
and then we get this uh, expression thing again. Now I'm going to select all of these shape layers again, pressing P, and now we get the position, the wheelie position of every um, of every shape, and I can select this pick whip and drag it onto position of random shape layers, so it connects a line. It makes a line between two dots. It always stays there. So I'm just going to duplicate this and I can either do this again, dragging it onto shape layer 3 and shape layer 2 or I'm going to duplicate it again. I can also just type in my shape layer 2 and 1 here and now you can see we already got this connection between all those dots. And in order to make this to a whole network, so every connect, uh, every dot connects every dot, just, yeah, you have to duplicate and do some annoying stuff. Uh, well, I'm just going to speed this up a little because, you know, just go for every combination. Lol. Never know how much I love you. Never know how much I care. Perfect. So I think I got everything now. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to render this out really quick. As we can see, we already got a nice looking animation. But we can save all this work up by using a script, a free script called Connect Layers. You can get it for free at uh, ascripts.com. You can select uh, zero dollars, but I would recommend paying something because it's a really helpful script. So when you install this, you should have it in the window connectlayers.jsx and what this basically does is I'm going to delete all of these lines again. What this does, uh, it saves me up the time of creating these dumb lines by just selecting these shapes. I'm just going to duplicate them a couple times so we get an even bigger network at the end. And I'll select all of these shape layers and I can either press triangulation so I get this effect as I did it before, like this network effect. When you put your arms around me, I get a feeling that's so hard to bear. You give me So yeah, as you can see, uh, we got <laughs> nice. We got some nice strokes. We could either select all of these and uh, change the stroke to black and make it about five because five looks cool. Uh, or we could. Uh, you could have just chosen um, stroke color black and stroke width 5 here. This is what I got now. I'll just render it out really quick. As you can see, it renders really quick for uh, that big, that uh, much movement. Well, this is really, I think this looks really cool. Uh, there's also another option we have in this connect layers script. I'll delete all of these again. We can press tree so we get something like this. Just uh, some dots are connected to each other so we get a whole long snake in the end. I'll just show it to you real quick. And this goes... Wait, wait. I forgot to make this stroke black again. <clears throat> this, uh, this is way faster because uh, we have about half of the lines as we had before. So you can see we got this little star sign looking animation now. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope um, this tutorial helped you and I guess I'll see you next time.